I'm Sonia Sklaroff, and I'm a professional painter living and working in New York City. I grew up in a close-knit family and attended a private Quaker school. Education was most important growing up. My mother was a professional ballerina and believed in hard work and training in a traditional manner. My father was a big supporter of the arts, and he exposed me to the symphony, museums, theater, and all aspects of the arts. Because I received a rigorous education and traditional training in art, I have a thorough understanding of anatomy, proportion, perspective, color, and technique. I'm grateful for my skills because it allows me to draw upon my knowledge so that I'm able to express my ideas with ease and facility. I had the honor of working with Faith Ringgold in graduate school, who I admire for her vision and her skill and creativity. She's done quilts, children's books, sculpture, painting, posters, and she was also a dedicated teacher. She helped guide me to become more personal with my expression while also giving me support in navigating the art world. My big spring woman, one woman show in New York City just ended several weeks ago. So I'm taking time to regroup and think about the direction of my next body of work. Um, I'm doing some traveling where I'm painting and sketching on location out of the city and also spending some time in my studio thinking about my next steps. The biggest challenges I face being a professional artist are storage space or lack thereof, burnout, it's real and you need to know when to take a break and not comparing myself to others. Everyone's path is different and success comes in all forms. I try to trust and enjoy my process and also take pleasure in my successes. There are highs and lows to every career and I know that my path will be unlike anyone else's. The advice I give to my younger self is to listen to that little voice inside. She will tell you what you need to do. No one can truly know what you want to say through your art or how you want to present yourself. When I'm not sure what to do in certain situations, I try to quiet my mind and listen to what my gut is saying. Sometimes it's a whisper, other times it's yelling at me. In 1998, the Lower Manhattan Cultural Council awarded me a nine-month studio space residency on the 91st floor of Tower One of the World Trade Center. I was so overwhelmed with the vast bird's-eye perspectives of the city that I could, uh, I didn't know what to do with the work that I was seeing through the windows, and I didn't feel comfortable with using my usual painting techniques. So instead, I covered white wood panels with thick, wet, black oil paint, and I scraped out the images and views that I saw at the windows using my fingernails. I have an eclectic playlist that I have been curating for years. It includes disco, rock, pop, blues, electronic, uh, love ballads, and instrumentals. I'm mostly, um, it's mostly upbeat music that keeps me going in the studio. When I'm not listening to my playlist, I listen to my favorite radio programs on NPR, National Public Radio. Sometimes I find people who I know in the art world to be kind of tedious with their complex vocabulary and their blah, blah, talking on and on with their critiques of my work. They feel compelled to use art, art school jargon that sometimes doesn't make sense or bores me. Um, I remember one time this lovely woman who cleans this, the architecture studio next door to my studio. She peeked her head into uh, through my door one night and asked if she could come in and take a look. She seemed amazed at my work and asked me if she could feel one of my paintings. She chose... Uh, a small piece I had completed recently, which had a lot of impasto texture. 
she just kind of ran her fingers over the lumpy blobs of dried paint for about 20 seconds and told me it was so beautiful. And then she left. It was a visceral reaction that I appreciated much more than someone who would come to my studio and pontificate about the gestalt or the symbolism or whatever. I like to think that my work highlights places that people tend to overlook. I try to create personal visual poems about quiet moments of beauty that someone may not notice. Maybe it's people hanging out in a hidden city garden in the spring, or perhaps it's the way the full moon shines over the city rooftops. You can see my work on Instagram at Sonia Sklaroff, or you can go to my website at www.soniasklaroff.com.